When Father Soren founded this university in 1842, he did so envisioning a place where it could foster people that would become a powerful force for good. And with engineering, it's really the architecture of life. You're able to bring about change and influence and have a real impact on the world, whether it be in the healthcare industry, the energy industry, um, providing food, clothing, and shelter to people in both developed and developing countries. Engineering is a lot about transformation and inspiration in our eyes, and the only way you really can do that is to bring students into that enterprise. Book work really isn't enough to motivate students, and most students you'll find, especially in civil engineering, come to this because they see this profession as one that truly can serve and meet those needs. Whether it's through undergraduate research experiences or directed studies, these are opportunities for students to bring those skills that they learn in the classroom out into the field to apply them directly. One thing that you especially notice as you study and work and, and even visit the University of Notre Dame is the strong sense of community. For example, an interdisciplinary engineering partnership uh, is initiated in collaboration with Notre Dame, Riley High School, and City of South Bend, Indiana. And it focuses on restoration of um, aquatic ecosystem of a local creek, which is a Bowman Creek. What we're interested in as a community is can we work with students can we work with Notre Dame? Can we work with the neighborhood and transform what we see as a degraded natural resource into a, a wonderful asset for the community? And can we do that through collaboration? Getting all the talents that we have at the school here at Notre Dame uh, and, and uh, the engineers and scientists from the city and other partners, we, we end up with a better solution. The, the collaboration with uh, the Riley High School students and the Notre Dame students is really, really great because they get to see a different perspective on, uh, on what uh, goes on in the classroom at the college level and the high school level and uh, get to see and experience uh, things from a different perspective. This um, provides excellent opportunity for undergraduate and high school students to uh, get involved in research and also community-based research projects. And on this also is beneficial to increase diversity in engineering. We know that um, uh, women are underrepresented in engineering. And interestingly, um, most of the people who applied uh, for this position were female engineering students. And I'm excited about this. Ultimately, an engineer's goal is to solve problems and to make a difference in the world. And, you know, getting involved in a community with a real problem, you know, that you know, you could come up with a solution for is a great start, you know, on the track to making a difference. We need to work to increase diversity in engineering. In addition to overall quality of the product, it will help um, addressing the needs of the customers and um, involve people uh, or enge and engineers that have um, different skill sets and also um, uh, perspective I think women definitely feel supported here. Um, we have a really big society of women engineers that's really active. And um, if you go to those meetings, any of them, it's huge and you know, you get this sense that there's a ton of women here that are trying to get to that goal of just graduating as an engineer and beating the statistics. And I think Notre Dame has done a huge part of trying to change that landscape. Having role models to look to, especially in how to juggle work-life balance, they're few and far between. Because of the intimate relationship you can develop with your students in a setting where it's small and private and where student interaction is encouraged, that there's an opportunity for you to be a mentor or even a role model to students, sometimes without even realizing it, because you're there with your son or you know juggling your work and life right before their eyes. So you'll see a lot of events where the faculty and their children are present and it gives an opportunity for the students to see how we balance these lives and that you know we have real lives outside of this place and how that all can harmonize, which I think is central, especially to women who want to try to have it all, which is you know tough in these days. Rossi and the military are looking for people with technical backgrounds because there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the defense areas that involves technology. Engineering can be applied to service in a lot of ways, you know, helping communities that don't have necessary technologies, and then there's the service of defending the country that. Um, the ROTC students are looking for. Kind of like with the space program, there's a lot of technologies that are developed in the military that end up helping the greater world, whether they're medical discoveries or just other useful day-to-day -day technologies. I definitely think the, like, the hands-on projects the most. I really like the whole uh, CAD and like, pro-engineering and SOLIDWORKS stuff. Um, so I guess that ties a lot with the design program also. 
um, just really getting the whole like fabrication process down and um, designing it from scratch. So, and then seeing it work. Anybody could do it if you have a love for science and engineering. It just there's a little bit to overcome, but it's worth it in the end.